Now, yesterday on the show, Ariana was talking about the fact that she was a huge fan of none other than... Who is this guy? I'm turning red. <gasps> Rex Gowdy. Rex Gowdy, yes. She actually stayed up. I think you said you slept in the I Avalon Mall outside. parking lot. Yeah. I, I thought that was in going winter. in a different direction then. No. You slept where? No, in mm. winter, slept outside the Avalon Mall to get a Rex Gowdy CD so I could get tickets to see a show. How exciting. And yeah, guess it, who it we was. managed to bring in on a special feed NL day is none other than... Just for you. I'm Rex Gowdy. <laughs> <laughs> so, Rex, uh, how are you doing? Heart. Doing pretty well. Doing pretty well. Uh, still pursuing music at a, on a smaller scale, but went back to school a few years ago, so I uh, managed to ra start raising a family now. <laughs> well, congrats. Where's the white ball cap? Got too dirty to wear, especially on days like today. <laughs> <laughs> One of the stories that we actually had on CBC and L has to do with the fact that there's a huge truck with your face on it, zipping around the streets of Halifax and confusing a lot of people there because they think you're on a live tour and you're about 10 years younger than you actually are right now. What is that truck doing in, in Nova Scotia? Well, the story beyond that one, uh, in 2005, when the first record, the one that you camped out in, in Avalon Mall again, came out, they wanted to do a big advertisement. So this is what they did. They, they contacted whoever owns this trailer. I've never met the man. And uh, put a 53-foot sticker on either side of the trailer. And I guess God, the buddy never took it off, ever. Uh, actually, a friend of mine who works with me in the Hebron Project, he's, he was saying that he seen uh, an ad on Nova Scotia Kijiji. The guy was going to try to take it off and sell it. So uh, boys are thinking about putting it, sticking it on inside of Hebron <laughs> for the fun of it. <laughs> well, listen, I'm glad you're still getting that kind of publicity. I know you're still working on music, but since you know, this is Ariana's moment, so I'm, here, take the mic. You can do the interview you want. Okay, I thought you were going to be like, do you want to do a duet? Okay, can we, can we take a picture? Okay. 2005, Ariana is dying inside right now. No, look, I'm excited for you. Okay, we're taking a selfie. All right, nice picture. This is lovely. So, Rex, oh, my God, I can't even, like, get my words together. Whew. Do you know that people still love you, like myself? <laughs> Not really, but it's, it's, uh, it's a bit of fun when it does happen. Yeah, well, I'll tell you, if you ever do sell, if they ever sell, like, the, the sticker on the side of the truck, like... <laughs> I'll be the first person to put in a bid because I'm still a big fan and I'm sure there are many fans out there, but this is a great surprise, guys. My Christmas dream has come true, so thanks so much. <laughs> Listen, Rex, I want to thank, I know you got to get to work and you came in your truck. What's the drive like? It's pretty rough coming out of Paradise. Uh, the roads are still a bit, a bit icy. There's a bit of an accident there on St. Thomas Line by Paradise Road. And uh, other than that, you, know, you take your time, crawl around, be okay. Well, thank you so much for coming in. I really appreciate it, and I know Ariana certainly does. Thanks a lot. Nice to meet you. Likewise, likewise. Thanks for having me this morning.